Hi guys, it's Risa. Welcome to my kitchen again. I'm so happy that you're here with me. I'm excited because I'm going to teach you how to make a delicious, nutritious, high protein, low fat lentil soup. Before I teach you this easy peasy recipe, because you know they're all easy peasy, um, I just want to remind you to subscribe, ring the bell option so you don't miss any of my videos and you'll get them by email to like and I love seeing your comments. Sharing is caring so anybody on a health journey please share. All right it's cold here. I'm in my winter um, hat and my big sweater. Um, I like to be cozy and uh, I just wanted to tell you that I love soup. Soups are amazing you know and you can enjoy them all year round. So I'm going to tell you um, the really simple ingredients that you're going to need. And depending on if you're on WW, um, of course, you know, uh, the plans vary now, right? So depending on what plan you are on, you will um, decide like if there's points for you, if there aren't points for you. Basically, there are points except for purple, okay? <laughs> Um, so for the other plans, there are points and it also really depends on the amounts that you use because it's different. Um, it will be different for everybody making this recipe and you'll see why. OK, so first of all, um, what I've done so far, um, because I didn't want to be here for 500 hours, is I've taken two huge uh, Vidalia onions and um about eight cloves of garlic and I put about a teaspoon of olive oil and olive oil spray and I've just sauteed this so that it's a little bit caramelized a little bit brown so um you can use um three onions you can depending on what you want and afterwards you're gonna be um using a hand mixer or your blender. So don't worry about how big or chunky your onions are. So it's great. You can just cut them up, throw them in, um, put in your, your garlic. And I love garlic, so I put a lot of garlic in. Um, so I just wanna show you, I like to use big onions, okay? And a lot of garlic. So if you don't like a lot of garlic, use less. My recipes are versatile. And remember, I write everything under each video. Not everybody does. Okay, I like red lentils. Um, and I just bought the great value. Two and a half cups. And you can see that I have it in a strainer. I've washed it thoroughly. Okay, like let it go under cold water for a long time. Okay, gets all the starches out and cleans it. All right two tablespoons and I just buy this at the bulk barn and I wish you could smell this this is fresh cumin seeds okay you can see they look like little bird seeds now if you don't have cumin seeds and you want to just use regular cumin use less this is two tablespoons worth and you need it trust me it will give it a lot of flavor all right so the onion the garlic the cumin seed gives this recipe a lot of flavor. And um, I'm just going to put in some pink Himalayan salt and some pepper. Um, and again, you know, I just sprinkle things in. So just always add things a little bit at a time. You can always add. That's my tip. Add a little bit at a time and then you can always add. All right. Um, now, I am using, I don't know how this got in here, um, sweet potato and I just cubed it and I'm putting in, it looks like four cups worth. So you weigh it. So again, if you're on the green or um, blue program on WW, um, so you're going to weigh out your sweet potato. You have to have sweet potato in this. It's key. All right. Um, and then you'll see how many points it is. All right. So usually like for like a medium potato, it's about three smart points. So, um, and for the lentils, I calculated for two and a half cups to be about 15 smart points. Again, you don't want to use two and a half cups. You want to use two cups. 
it's up to you, right? You want to make a smaller recipe, it's up to you. And you can freeze this afterwards, all right? And the other thing that you'll need, um, I don't have crushed put, um, tomatoes. I was going to say potatoes, but they're not potatoes potatoes people they're tomatoes and I love the La San Marzano I get these at Costco and you're going to throw everything in the pot and eight cups of water so we're going to do that soon all right so we're just going to add everything so I'm going to just add my lentils just so you can see make sure you can see I'm going to just turn this a little bit there and just put this in I have it at a low heat I'm just going to mix. And add my tomatoes. Add my sweet potatoes. Add my cumin seeds. And now I'm just going to put in some water. So wait. I'm just going to fill that up. Um, I didn't think about having that ready. So anyways, you're going to let this cook uncovered for about an hour and a half, and then you're going to puree it, okay? So depending on what you're cooking it in, um, some people could put it in an Instapot or in a slow cooker. I've never done that. I always use a regular pot. So I'm going to put in four cups and another four cups. And I'll add some pepper. And some salt. And it takes time to cook. So you need to be patient with this one. All right, hold on. I'm going to just put in my other water and just mix this so I'm just going to show you what it looks like right now just like a bunch of mush and I'm going to cook this for about an hour and a half to two hours and every like 20 minutes or so you're going to mix it and once it's all soft then you're going to use your hand mixer and puree it, okay? You're going to use your hand mixer or you can pour it into whatever blender or food processor that you have, okay? And then you're going to just let it cook. You're going to turn it off and the longer soup cooks, oh my God, the more flavor it has. That's my tip. Another tip. The longer soup cooks, the better it is. So like if you start off early in the morning, you could just let it sit all day. So cook it for an hour and a half, two hours even, all right, puree it and then cover it, turn it off and um, just let it just, it will keep cooking. You'll see, or just keep it on a very low heat, but check it because the thing is that people try to rush and they put it on a medium or a high heat and it's going to burn and you're going to ruin it. So I'll be back to show you what it looks like once it's cooked. I'll be back. Stay tuned. See you soon. Hey guys, I'm back and I just wanted to tell you that my soup has been cooking for about two and a half hours and I'm going to even let it sit for another couple of hours because like I said, the longer it sits, the more flavorful it gets. Okay, so the longer it sits. So I just want to show you, here's my beautiful pot. Look at that. It looks amazing, but better yet, it smells amazing and tastes amazing. So I'm just going to put some in a bowl. Oops, of course I had to drop some. <laughs> I always drop some. But um, you can see it's a really nice, rich, thick soup. You taste the sweet potato in it, which gives it a nice flavor. The cumin seeds, some salt and pepper. You can add as you go along 
you know my recipes are versatile so if you want to add something to it you can this is vegan vegetarian so you know everybody's happy um you know high high protein a good carb okay so you know you want to make sure that you include everything in your health journey right oh there's my timer because i want to make sure that i don't burn it make sure you keep your timer on that's another tip all right so um again you know depending on what program you're on um how much potato you use how much lentils you use that's all you're going to be calculating okay um and not for the purple program i believe because you don't have to calculate for ww um potatoes or uh beans but for freestyle and for um points plus you do okay so um no not for points plus for freestyle and for smart points you do okay this is so confusing. They've changed things up with WW and they keep changing it up. Who knows by the time you watch this, it could be changed again, but for the better, obviously. And um, I just, I hope you enjoy this recipe. That is super delicious. Continue to share and comment and like, and tell me what you think. All right, take care. Enjoy my soup. Bye for now.